Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Bumpy Mix Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my official coverage of Forced Showdown. It's by Beta Dwarf and back in March of 2016, that's right, earlier this year, March 29th to be specific, the game fully released. Now, I was actually playing around with it a little bit before the release as they had a Twitch live stream event. And it was there for all of us to witness and enjoy. That being said, um, I haven't played it since, and we're going to play around with it here each and every Friday for a little while, just to give you guys a good idea of what it's all about. Maybe I'll actually be able to beat it. Maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll play around. We'll see. And we'll run with it. There's going to be multiple different runs, multiple different levels. I was never able to beat anything beyond the first level, so we'll see how it goes. I'm not sure what is still here, what isn't, but we're going to go to play. And we're going to go back into the Crucible. Now, I did play to this. I think I made it to the final boss and I got destroyed. So we'll see if I can at least come back to Emblem Rank at some point here and manage to get through this. Alright, so when you originally start off, you only have the Squire of Light, I believe, is the only one you can choose from. And you don't have a pet or a companion. I have the Squire of Light. I also have Volko. I have the Stormbringer. And I have the Ravager. The only one I was any amount of decent with, I believe, was Volko. I don't think I was super good with it, but eh. We'll roll with it again. We're going to start with a Volko and see if I can at least sort of bring it back. Let's go crack some skulls. So, let's go crack some skulls, ladies and gentlemen. This is essentially replacing Rogue Stormers, as I got about as far as I can get with that game. I made it all the way to the final boss, defeated him two out of three, possibly more phases. To yet another exciting round of Forced Showdown! The only show in the galaxy with lives on the line. As always, the rules are that the contestant must fight his way through numerous titans, burning points along the way. Tonight's show will be The Crucible. At the end of the hall stands the ultimate challenge. The ultimate challenge, the Burninator. Anyhow, I got as far as I could with Rogue Stormers, uh, short of defeating the final boss. I'm not going to close out the series yet because I'm going to play through on my own until I get back to the final boss and see if I can't at least attempt another run just doing the boss battle and maybe being victorious to show you the end of the game, guys and gals. So, as that is stated, I'm going to play this a uh, few episodes, I don't know, maybe three to five, somewhere in that range, and we'll, well, see how it goes. Alright, so you move around with W, A, S, and D. I think you can also use a controller. I choose to use the keyboard and mouse for this. If you left click, you do certain attacks. If you hold it, you charge up your attack, and you unleash a super attack. If you right click, you do a specific move that does have a cooldown. You can see down here in the bottom left. E is another one with a cooldown, it's a move, this one's a spinny fire attack of doom, and then R gives you a shield. Now, the shield absorbs the next hit, which knocks back enemies when it's triggered, and it'll last for 5 seconds. So if you know you're about to get hit, pop that E, or sorry, pop that R key, and try to save yourself. That being said, let's go on in, and... Normally when you start the game fresh, guys and gals, you have to go through some sort of training mission, and... You go through that, then you end up here, and then you have to go through this. And once you defeat this, you're in the game officially. Like, this is where the game really begins. So, we're going to head on in here. I was tr I'm trying to remember if shift or spacebar or anything did anything else. Alright, we have four different options that we can choose from here. We have to defeat two of them, I believe, to open this. We have to defeat two battles in the to open the chamber. Where the final battle is, well, the the floor battle or boss battle here. Uh, supplies, we get a lightning rod, uh, endless supplies, what else we get? Rebel, Rebel Whirly Rats, no thank you, and two toys. Um, we'll go with two toys, why not? They each do something different. Start with two random consumables, so there's more enemies on uh, the field of battle this time around. So Volko and Brutus are up against Jahoon as the first boss battle guy. Now we're not going to face him off immediately, we're going to go have to go through several levels before we make it to him, but we're we're somewhere around there. There it is. Let us fight. You've made an unwise decision in coming here. 
All right, no, this is cool. I'll go with it. Confirm. Play cards. All right, so after each round, I believe we get one extra mana that we can use. Mana doesn't last from round to round, so if, say, the next level we have two mana. I have this card, I should play it. I shouldn't save up so I get three mana, or since I can't use any mana right now, on level two I'm not going to have three mana. So after every round, your mana will reset back to full. So, so we can't play any cards, we just begin, I guess. Oops, just wasted a skill, and it's all about murder, death, killing, dodging stuff, using your pets and other various things to your best advantage. I cannot get to that thing. There we go. To prevent it. And to smash and moitalize him. And take out Ratman over here. And down he goes. And I believe we did that with almost no pain and suffering. We got hit once there at the end. I'm not sure what actually even hit me, but I did get hit once. It was not great. Alright, and apparently we start off with a nano med injector, which will allow us to heal ourselves and all of our allies for 20% of the max health. Alright, and a scroll of steel. Make you and your allies immune to all attacks for 3 seconds. That's on the 1 and the 2 keys. Alright, mana puff. Summons a mana puff. If, if it survives the round, you gain 2 mana. That's what I'm going to do right now. Since it costs zero, and it still allows me to use Volcanic Smash, which basically, basically, which basically means that I'm a little bit more powerful now. I should be able to do Murder, Death, Killing. All right, let us begin. Use my Slammy Whammy thing there. It's gonna be great. Okay, take care of that. Take care of this guy. And taking that thing out. Dodge the drone attack there. Make sure these traps go down. Arena complete. Alright, the mana puff did survive, so we get two extra mana. I believe we can destroy all this stuff, though I don't know if it matters if we destroy it all. Like, I don't know if things drop. I can't recall. It's been too long since I last played. Now keep in mind, I have not practiced since the time I played it on Twitch, so I'm probably going to be just as bad, if not worse, than I was then. I feel much slower and clumsier. I know, it's shocking to think that I could be any slower. Alright, so we have 5 out of 3. This is a rare occurrence, and we should utilize this to our fullest effect. Attacks heal for 30% of damage dealt for 10 seconds. It's a consumable. Or we can get the... I don't know what that is. actually says. The Accessilator. And essentially it deals 25 damage to random enemy when you use an ability. So we're going to get that one. Because we can. Alright, let us begin. Oh yes, that's right. We have the gold guy here that we need to kill. Uh, the more you hit him, and if you defeat him before he leaves, you get a lot of uh, swag, basically. A bunch of extra loot. Which is pretty good. However, apparently the loot does vanish if you don't get it right away. Alright. Going to utilize this. Going to avoid some of the hate. Oh dear. Alright. Going to eliminate these things as best I can. There's going to be many, many, many more hatred things here coming out. We're going to go and dodge all these guys. Oh, and by dodge, I mean get hit by a few things there. Oh, we got a heal. Not so bad. Avoid the rolling boulder there and eliminate everyone. All right. Sweet, sweet, nice style. Take it out. That's right. Take my picture. That's right. I'm a superhero. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. My name is Volko. Make sure you spell it correctly. All right. Well, we're leaving this place. Alright, what do we have now? Another one that will increase our volcanic smash damage some more, however. We also have the Flame Nado sends out bolts of fire that deal 10 damage. And deal 40 damage to enemies and 20, dam 20 unavoidable damage to allies. Ooh. Don't want that. Let's go with the Flame Nado thing, and that's it. Another die, another arena. Another die, another arena. Indeed. Slaughter him. 
Now I got hit. And then I walked into a beam of death. Alright, so it's very possible that we will not survive this in any way, shape, or form. But maybe, maybe we can come on, that dude just walked up and smacked me. You guys saw that? That was that was not cool, man. It was totally uncool. Oh my. Okay, so the traps are becoming really problematic. We have lived long enough. Alright, we gotta get around to where the last remaining guy or two exists and end the battle. We have done so, of course, because we're amazing like that. Alright, come on over here and on to the next. So it's a fairly fast-paced game, guys. Uh, all the levels are randomly generated, so it's definitely a roguelike experience for all those involved. We'll gain that one additional mana and we will get... I don't know, I should have held on to it now that I think about it. I thought the other one was the good one. Alright, that's fine. Alright, so the first of attacks are out. Dodge those. Kill him off. Kill off that guy. Sure, we get within range so we don't get hit. And he's down. Not really the problem right now. There's the problem. That's right, you, you, sir, are the problem. Arena completed. I love the voice acting in this two guys and gals. It's actually quite good. I like the arena voices. I like the monster voices. I like even the, the the random stuff we hear from the different people. It's all good. It's all good in the hood, baby. All good in the hood, as they say. I don't know. It's fine. All right, mirror match. Summon an ally from the current world. Recover on its first kill. Sure. Oh. Or we'll get a charge back from that. Yeah! And that's fine. Alright, let's get on over here. We'll attack these guys with much hatred and hopefully some suffering and pain. Okay, a little bit more damage there. And ever more. And ever more. And more and more and better. I believe my pet guy just... No, we healed up too. Not by much. We were at 71 for a long time, now we're at 78. I know, it's a small gain, but it's still a gain. Alright, great balls of fire. Simple and easy. We know exactly what we want out of that. Oh, those guys are not fun. Those are the whirly, spinny rat guys. They are not to be trifled with. Alright, hey, we got a healing thing. Ah! No! Urgh. It's not fair. Well, we're just about dead. I mean, we got a little bit of healing done at the end, but man, we got beat down bad. Now we get to go up against a boss while we're crippled. It's probably not great. Oh, we're up against Jahoon. We might be okay. Fairy battle, fairies deal 10 damage around you. Oh good, we actually really need the- oh no. Can we get rid of one of these? No, I really want that! No! No! Oh, that's not good. Alright. Well... Oh, I'm hitting the wrong buttons all over the place. It's not great. Avoid the rocks. No! No! No, he got me. He got me. <laughs> it was a little fun to watch. All right, so there you go, guys and gals. I hit all sorts of wrong buttons. I was up on the number of keys at one point when I was supposed to be on my skill keys. I was on my skill keys when I was supposed to be on my number of keys. I was on my feet when I was, should have been on my hands. Wait, what? I don't know. It's okay, though. It's a start. As you guys can see, I've done some stuff. I've actually gained some things. 
This time around, not so good. We'll hop in and we'll start again. It's going to probably take me a little bit before I'm back in the swing of things. But we'll try out some different characters and see how it goes. We'll try out our boy, the Squire of Light, here with our Rargul deck. Let's we'll see if we can't do a little bit better. Light. We're going back into the Crucible once again. Welcome to yet another exciting round of Forced Showdown! The only show in the galaxy with lives on the line. As always, the rules are that the contestant must fight his way through numerous titans, earning points along the way. Tonight's show will be The Crucible. At the end of the hall stands the ultimate challenge. The ultimate challenge, the Burninator. All right. So this guy plays a bit differently than the last guy, and I should have potentially changed characters in the last one. I should have had the other pet as my uh, compatriot as opposed to this guy. Anyhow, this guy, he's got two different, or he's got his main attack, which gets stronger and stronger as it goes, eventually doing that. However, take a look here. We're going to run to the right. Once we start firing, it slows down, it slows down more, and then eventually you stop completely when you fire your last one. So while it gets more powerful, you start moving slower and slower and slower. It's interesting and difficult at times. Now the Guardian, or sorry, let's check out the right click. Overcharge, this does massive explosive damage and knocks enemies back, I believe. Yep. And the closer they are to you, the more they get damaged by it. We can become invulnerable for a few seconds here with our invulnerable shield of awesome. And finally, we have a passive ability. It's a speed of light. When you're attacked, beam of light hits twice as fast for two seconds. So, that being said, let's hop in here and get going with it. What do we have this time? Slippery cards, uh, magnetic whip weapons, and we have endless supplies. And what else do we have here? Gotta go fast. Let's try gotta go fast. That totally doesn't sound dangerous or detrimental to me at all. Squire of Light and Brutus versus Frank the Other Living. Alright. That's cool. Collecting point pickups gives you a plus one stackable movement speed for eight seconds. And since it's a buff, it adds enemies. Sometimes you'll get debuffs and it'll actually remove enemies because of that. Alright, we can go with this. This actually will be fairly decent confirm it. Play cards. I'm going to play this card. Uh, gain a Squire Puff ally. If it survives a round, you get plus 15% damage. Also, this area and these enemies are some of the easier ones, if I recall correctly. It has been a while since I played, so you have to forgive me. Oh, gosh, I thought that was my guy that was right next to me. That freaked me out a little bit, I'm not going to lie. Oh, what the heck? Well, that was a thing, apparently. Alright, let's continue on. We have a statue over here. We're going to do some uh, damage, too. And we have uh, the old Archerian, whom we shall destroy. And since our little puff survived, that basically means we now do more damage forever. For all of it. Well, until the end of the uh, deal. Alright, so there it is. Plus 15% damage. Alright, next up, we have heals that we don't need, and we have the Cosmic Cleaver, which is what we want eventually. This one's pretty good too. 30% chance to cast a Shock Nova. It activates when we get hit, not bad. Fortunately, we have no mana for anything right now, so we're going to destroy all this random stuff laying around. And we're going to take out the old uh, Statuin. Statuarian, I don't know, whatever it is. We'll wait for the beam to go by, and then we'll continue on. You shall not pass! Fortunately, there's not much we can do while the thing's still standing. So, we'll avoid it for now. We're going to go and explode up on him, and then end his face. There it is. Arena completed. Simple and easy. Sweet, sweet, nice. These guys, in general, are a little bit easier. Alright, what do we have? We have a plus 3 here. Overcharge gains plus 50% damage. Yep. That doesn't rely on me getting hit, so I will definitely take that. Alright, I shall take out the first of the peasant class of individuals. Soylent Green! Wait, what? I don't know. 
You think you can shoot at me and get away with it, you fools? Don't you know who I am? I'm the wise and powerful Oz. I don't know about that. All right. Onward. And I believe if we can manage to get through the first boss, I'll be able to actually break off the episode. You guys can be pretty thrilled with that. All right, we'll get the Nova and we'll continue on. We must face the light. It is the only way. Nope. You really should try to avoid getting hit by giant laser beams of doom. I'm just saying, it's not really the play. Come on, get out of the way. Get out the way. By the power vested in me by the state of confusion, I am now old. Hey, giant thing. That's right, if you hit the statues in this uh, particular level, sometimes they come to life. It's not great when it happens. It'll tend to throw you off your game just a little bit. Because it's your own fault. You know, like, you shouldn't have hit the statues. Just saying. Alright, what are we looking at now? We can go with another Squire Puff, which I do not hate, but... We're not going to do that. At least not right now. Alright. So we're going to go over here, slay him, grab up his uh, regenerative. Th I don't know what those things do, but they're here. That was a statue guy. Once they die, you have to make sure you kill the little thing that's around them. Otherwise, you're going to have more issues. And wet tissues and stuff like that. It's fine. Arena completed again. That's right. We're just crushing it. We're killing it. We're doing things. We're making it work. Alright, even more enemies facing us this time around. Alright, so we can get Piercing Light. A beam of Light now pierces enemies. Add on Beam of Light's final blast gains 1.5 range. Additionally, we get our Squire Puff. We only have 6, and we really haven't been hit, so that's interesting. So we're going to go with this again. We'll hope that we can get through it, and we'll see if that is indeed the case. There we go. We finally got hit for the first time. That's not really something to brag about, but I just I decided to brag about it anyway. Alright, took it out. Oh man, we got hit with a long range beam there. That wasn't cool. Hey. Don't hit our, our little puffy dude there. I will eat a soup. I think that's what he said. I will eat a soup. Alright, our puff guy survived. Which means we get 15% more damage, and it does stack. So that's going to be really good, and I believe we're one step away from the final boss. Alright, we can get the upgrade to our health. And then we can heal, or we can just do the Cosmic Cleaver and then do that in the next little dealie. So now we do more damage, 40% more damage overall, plus the additional 30% more damage. That's stacked up. Okay, continue to do some slaughteration over on the side. There it is. We will eat some Teramasu! Alright, take you out, dodge the arrow, and who's left? There's gotta be a couple more at least. Oh, just one more. Alright, sweet. And now we need to go up against Frank the Ava Living. He's Mumra's brother, Frank. Yeah, you get Frank's dead bodies. Alright, we can go with the accelerator. Eh, we already have that. I don't think I need another one. I don't mind the 80 health upgrade and the full heal there. It's going to be pretty good. Alright, so now we're up against Frank, the ever living. Alright. Surrender! Never give up! Never surrender! Alright, dodge all of his chaos. Frank's gonna come back down now. Gonna make sure that we dodge his hate. And that's easy enough to do. Oops, didn't quite do that 100% right, but close. Oh, we got Frank right here. Alright, so Frank's down. Avoid that. 
get hit for 10. It wasn't the end of the world, but it wasn't too bad. I'm going to get shot with a missile again. Oh, he actually missed, and we crushed him. So we defeated one singular boss this time around, ladies and gentlemen. Victory was mine. All right, so 43, total 43. Very nice. We're able to unlock stuff with that. Eventually. Like right now. Our boon is available. Our new boon. Alright, so we get to choose. Draw a card after your mulligan. Uh, let's see. Life insurance. Increased drop rate of health globes. 20% companion health. Or 25% damage to summoned enemies. I want more. Uh, I want life insurance. Alright, we're going to go with that. Anyway, folks, in the next episode, we will continue this run. I will probably let it go through until I die on this run. And maybe really short in the next episode. It may be one more episode beyond that. I don't know. But after this run with this guy, I think I'll break it off. We'll continue this for a couple of weeks at least. So look for more next Friday as well. More Forced Showdown and all that crazy, wonderful, fun stuff. I hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. If you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, any of that wonderful, fun stuff will be down below in the description of the video. And I will see you guys in just a bit. With the next part of my epic run as the Squire of Light. Hopefully we'll be able to make it to the Burninator and take him out. We'll see. Only time will tell. Alright folks, until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.